Here I have listed the same reaction that we analyzed in the previous video. And what I want to really emphasize here is what is actually happening at the atomic level when a chemical reaction occurs. So let's just say we have the reactants here in some sort of container. And in this container, I'm going to represent oxygens with clear open circles. So we have five O2 molecules over here. So when we have each of these molecules, that's going to give us 10 oxygen atoms. In addition, we have four ammonias. So we're going to write nitrogen, kind of shade them in like this, and there's going to be three hydrogens around each one of these nitrogens. So our four ammonia atoms, or sorry, four ammonia molecules are going to look like this. So with four ammonias, we have 12 hydrogen atoms, and we have four nitrogen atoms. So 10 oxygens, 12 hydrogens, 4 nitrogens. Over here on the product side, we can also pictorially show what happens in going from reactants to products. In this case, we're going to form 4 NO molecules. So an NO is going to have a slightly shaded atom and an open circle. So we're going to get four of those and then we're going to have six waters. The waters are the oxygen with two hydrogens on each side. So this is an atomic representation of what's happening on the reactants and the product side. And let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 oxygen atoms. We'll count in the larger, slightly filled in spheres, which will be 4 nitrogen atoms. And then counting up the small filled in dots, which are the hydrogen atoms, there's going to be 12 of them. So on each side of this reactants and products, we have to say that the number of atoms must be conserved. And this is the exact ratio in which these molecules will react. We have four ammonias and five oxygens producing four NOs and six waters. So this is the atomic picture that's what's going to happen when the reactants are mixed together forming these products. What we're going to talk about next is what happens when we have an excess amount of either one of these reactants and how will that influence how much product we form.